Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of my brand new series, Daily Art History. For January, I'll solely be focusing on Impressionist paintings. Each episode will briefly cover the history and story behind an Impressionist painting. Some of these paintings are my personal favourites, others are lesser known Impressionist paintings that I wanted to research. Today we'll be looking at Boulevard des Capucines by Claude Monet. The painting, Boulevard des Capucines, was made either in late 1873 or early 1874. Monet painted this piece from the studio of Félix Nadar, a photographer and friend of Monet. Here, Monet paints a sight of Parisian life in the wintertime. The portrayal of Parisian life in the boulevard is bustling and filled with people. Monet used short brush strokes to give the impression of people in the busy city. Additionally, Monet incorporated the Japanese mobile viewpoint to illustrate a modern dynamic and fragmented experience of space. You can see this when you look closer into the painting the detached visual brushstrokes creating complex visual experiences for the observer. When we look at the apartment blocks on the left and the winter trees and snow-topped cabs in the middle, it creates fragmentation. The people on the pavement are also isolated from one another, but Monet's brushstrokes present them as a group to an audience. This could be connected of how many individuals and their movements contribute to the formation of a crowd. This painting was showcased at the Spring 1874 exhibition, which was also the first Impressionist exhibition. Art critic Ernest Chesneau writes, At a distance, one hails a masterpiece in this stream of life. But come closer, and it all vanishes. There remains only an indecipherable chaos of palette scrapings. Obviously, this is not the last word in art, nor even of this art. It is necessary to go on and transform the sketch into a finished work. But what a bugle call for those who listen carefully, how it resounds far into the future. Also, French art critic Louis Leroy was also not fond of Monet's impressions of people, and called them black tongue leggings. For more technical information, the medium of this painting is oil on canvas. The dimensions are 31.6 inches by 23.75 inches, or 80.3 centimeters by 60.3 centimeters. Currently, Boulevard des Capucines is located in the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art in Kansas City. Monet also painted the same subject twice. However, the second painting is located in the Pushkin Museum in Moscow, and was painted a decade later in 1883. The second painting was also painted horizontally. That wraps up today's episode. If you'd like more content like this, feel free to like the video and hit the subscribe button. There will be podcasts posted infrequently on this channel as well, so stay tuned for that. The sources used for the analysis information are provided below in the description. For the rest of this video, I will show a time lapse of the painting I found on YouTube with an obu etude titled Boulevard des Capucines by Gilles Silvestrini playing in the background. Hope you have a wonderful day.